Such that I think yesterday night I was just up understanding how God's love has found me and changed me. So let's get into the story. Um, if you're someone like me, did uh, you've gotten tired of just standing up in church for who wants to give your life to Christ? That was basically me eight months ago. So all I did was I just stand up, give my life to Christ. After one week, I'm back in the same way. I was tired of living that way. I'm tired of just giving my life today, running away the next day. Then I just lost vibe for the give your life. I just got tired of it. My mom was like, you stood up so many times. Why is nothing changing in your life? But then something really happened. I think I was writing exams. So I was writing exams and God really spoke on me. He was speaking to me even though I wasn't saved and was doing things, was changing. There were just so many miraculous things that happened during that time. I would love to share the story with because of time. Let me get straight to the point. So after that, I experienced God. I had like, not major encounters, but like, I would hear something and then I would just follow it. And then it's like, what's, what's talking to me? What's happening to me? And then I just like, got familiar with it. Then after the exam, I went home and then I was just in a church service and then there was this stuff about water baptism and there was a three days rugby session, something like that. So I just knew my mind out here. I want to get serious. I want to hear this voice that's talking to me. I want to hear it on a constant. Like, I'd gone through so much pain in the last two weeks and I just wanted to be cool and just know that thing and understand it and know God. I was just tired of living out of God. So then, I gave my life. I didn't really give my life. I didn't say a word, but I spoke it out and I knew, okay, from this point, I'm saved. I started attending this. I took, it, I took it fast. I took it fast from my phone, from social media, from TV, from everything. Like, seriously, everything. I was just on a drive fast and I was just reading my Bible, attending a three-day session. And right there, I found God without the distraction, without the noise, without the pollution. Because I feel like social media now has just stole love at times. That's why so many people give their life and then they can't really like keep up. There's just so much distraction. So for you that is starting out there, off that phone, delete that WhatsApp, delete that IG, concentrate and build faith for a while. So we started on our keep on the journey. I had my baptism that Saturday and from there it has been miraculous. And if you're wondering, it's been seven months till now. It's I gave my life August 31st. I actually just found out the date recently. But there's one thing I would like to highlight about the old story. It's the fact that when God truly saves you, your past just becomes like an envelope of wow, was this me? I'll tell you the truth, it isn't going to always be easy. There are days that feels like God has not been with me. The seven months I've been with Christ, truly. There are days I haven't felt God. There are days I've been depressed. There are days my troubles have overwhelmed me. But then I've just learned one thing, just one single thing. The joy of the Lord and the peace and His presence. Like someone once told me yesterday and I held on to it. It says, the greatest blessing is the presence of God and cherish it. See, no money you make in this life. Nothing, everything you're searching for, it's, God is fleeting. It looks tempting. It looks when you get there, you truly be happy. But truly, no joy comes than you finding joy in God's presence. And then, I would like to just tell you guys about the story of who I was before. But it doesn't really matter. For those that know me, I like to remember. I still do, but not <laughs> in a good way. So, just had issues with fornication, had issues with porn, had issues with so many things. And it was really just biting deep, it was drawing me down, it was dragging me down. This thing just pulled the light to you. And I felt so bad. And truly, with God, everything is a process. It took time to reform my character, it took different processes. But truly, it has been great, it has been wonderful. Finding salvation has truly been the best thing that has happened to me. And I'm thankful for that. And if you love to hear the whole story, get the full gist, my number is going to be in the comment section. I'm dropping. I'm willing to work with anybody that really wants to share my story. You're struggling with porn, you're struggling with fornication, you're finding the lost, you're struggling with any form of sin that affects us, depression. And I'll just like to end up with 
I had a very big problem. We call it a self-esteem problem. So naturally, you guys can see I'm small, lanky. <laughs> I don't have so much body weight. So when I got into school, I was this small guy, and then I was bullied all through my secondary school. So like a normal thing. So I turned to an emotional bully. You bully me, body me. Attack your emotions. Trust me, I'm very, very good at that. I know how to spoil your mood and attack you. So I had low self esteem issues, I had confidence issues, I had issues with getting out, with talking to people, with making friends. I was just in my head too much. It was just movie classes. I was just too much without self esteem. But today, if you know me now, you wouldn't say that was me. And that's the thing. God changes, He reforms. And the act is where it starts from. If you are truly saved and you got to this point, God has a purpose, a plan for you. Keep to it. Do it, God. Keep striving. Keep striving. For God is coming. It's always with us. Shalom. Bless. Bless.